Farted. Here it is. Monday, August 29th. Start of a new week. I think we're doing some more training today. Well, I don't think, I know. What happened was the customer whose Fiesta was booked in, boing, has had a car in with us before and then they asked, whilst I do my Fiesta, can I come in and watch for a little bit? And then it ended up sorting out that we're gonna do a little bit of training with them as well. And as sad as it sounds, on Saturday morning, uh, Sunday morning actually, yesterday morning, I managed to get up, do a good bit of my paperwork and get that sorted. So I'm caught up quite a bit today. So let's get set up, get me my breakfast and everything like that sorted, and then see what notes I left myself for what I've got to do today. I know something I've got to do is another American order. Yes. Yep. Shishing. So the time is ah, close enough to 12 o'clock. Still going through the training session on the ST. We have done the wash. The decontamination, the customer's just rinsing it down and then we're going to take it inside, give it a quick dry, clay bar it and then we'll go through the proper blow drying session and then I'm going to go through machining basics and some other little bits and pieces with the rupee system, the flex and everything else on the side and just generally give the customer a good overview of what's going on and then that leaves me and Scott to enhance it. What's that, 20 past 6? The customer left around about 5 o'clock finished doing all the training and stuff on this, gonna see them again tomorrow. And I've just finished shooting the Q&As. They're a bit out of focus, I had to set them up myself, don't hate me, but they will be dropping soon, so I'm just gonna get them uploaded, edited and done. That's the Instagram and the Facebook Q&As. So that's me, I'm gonna skedaddle, disappear, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Ciao. Morning all. Is it red sky in mornings, the shepherd's warning? What does that mean is gonna to happen today? It's Tuesday, the 30th of August. Bank holiday weekend just finished for all those that were down south. Let's go. So what has been happening this morning? I've just been quickly checking out the channel, the reviews and replying to the comments, see what's going on. This is incredible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I wanna keep pumping this up. See how we get on. I've got some really interesting video and content coming up. But I've still got to do some boring stuff this morning which you all don't want to see, which will be the banking and little bits and pieces. What is happening? We've still got the customer in doing training. I'm going to have Scott helping them out in the enhancement. And then I have to go into the hospital tomorrow. So there will not be vlogging of tomorrow, I don't think. Probably not. So then I'll be back on Thursday. I'm also nipping away a little bit early today. I know, part-timer, right? Um, it's because at four o'clock I'm going away to a career ready meeting. How cool is that? I'm actually going to help mentor someone take that step uh, from college, from school, into business or giving them an insight into business and mentoring that person. So I'm really looking forward to meeting them tonight and seeing what's happening at that meeting. And I've just weighed this bad boy. This is for James, a detailer out in America. So it's now time to do all that export paperwork and get it sorted. The time is now. 25 past 10. So what's happened? I've been uptown, done the banking, and went and got some of them document and close things as we ran out of them. Customers here, and we're still going through the enhancement training on the Fiesta. And that's all your orders done. Thank you. And for you, James, that's heading off to you in America. So now I'm just going to go upstairs and check what Jamie's up to, reference the products and the stock, and then I'm going to sort out this new website because I want to get it launched for you all soon. He's been doing a top up of the detailer and beginning to make me some mini ones for my trip to Greece and Vegas. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a funny couple of days. The reason is we've had training at the weekend, so the end of the last vlog would have been a little short. And the Monday and Tuesday of today has been training. Now, not that the students or customers or whatever you want to call them um, have specifically said they don't want to be in the vlog it's just it's still one of them boundaries I don't want to push weird isn't it uh, I'm more than happy to record in public but when there's someone paying for a service to come in and see the AMD environment um, I'm very conscious that they're paying for 
my time. Uh, the training at the minute is very one-to-one -one based on me. Uh, the team are perfect, more than qualified to be able to um, at least give some guidance. And Scott's doing that right now um, with some final AMD protection stuff and after sales. But I'm waffling. I'm heading up into town now as I am a career ready mentor this year, which I'm looking forward to. And tonight is the first meeting. I believe I get to see who my mentee or my, my student is. Um, it's a great program. It helps you take, uh, you get associated a student and then you help them just get a little bit, you know, life skills, conference skills, business skills to bring them that gap between school and possibly business. But also um, you give them a job in the summertime and a project is part of that. So I'm really looking forward to meeting the guy or girl and seeing um, their interests and just meeting someone and seeing how we can work together and how I can mentor them to, um, you know, take things to the next level with them and hopefully over the next two years that's a good crack. So heading up town, that'll be it for today guys. I'll see you Thursday. Tomorrow I go to the hospital again, final one for a final little inspection. It's all good news so far, so don't worry guys, but it is the final one, uh, just to double check and make sure. So then I will see you all on Thursday. Bye guys. Good morning. There it is. But that's not the view you expected to see, is it? That is because the time now is just caught up at seven o'clock and me and Sarah have just been sorting a couple of things at Chamber HQ, which is the Murray Chamber of Commerce. And I am a council member on the events team and my wife just happens to be the CEO. And this weekend is the annual dinner. So I've just been helping out with a couple of things this morning, but check out how beautiful this old railway station building is. How nice is that? So if you are a business in the Murray area and you want to network and do other cool things like that, come into this building and go into that bottom office and go and say hello to the team. They're really cool. Right, cheesy plug over, back to AMD. It's order making time. That's done. Whew. Gonna finish the Freelander and then wait on the Evoke arriving. The Freelander is nearly there. Just using the MAPC, the dregs of what's left this bottle, to give the ramp a quick clean up, sort the floor, and then I will wheelie and picture it. The time is, oh, goodness me, 20 to 11 and we've not even started the evoke. The reason? It's just been a chaotic morning this morning and we've just had our good friend at the stead in, Paul Christie, place an order of sats on its way to you, my good man. Cheers. So, that's the final snow foam and rinse going on the evoke. Been a lot going on, wasn't able to film much and bye Freelander. It's gone. So we're about to do the final snow foam rinse in that one, pull it in blow dry it and then begin the protection. It's time for a random, but I think pretty cool, update. So basically, I found these guys, these George with their uh, wooden watches, quite a cool concept I think, watches made of wood. And I thought they were quite eye-catching, pretty cool. And just did some tweeting, some Instagram stuff, just asking people ever used watches, are you into watches? It's something that I use in the vlog quite a lot with the Fitbit. Turns out these guys are actually looking for YouTubers, but you know, we're talking huge YouTubers. 5,000 likes, subscription base, big, big, big deals. But I reached out, got chatting, and there was a lovely guy named Mike who turned around and said, hey man, I actually really like 
what you're doing with your channel. Um, he said a bricks and mortar channel, which I think is for us here in the UK would be like a grassroots channel. And they wanted to hook me up. So I'm getting a watch. A watch is coming to me for free. How cool is that? So it's not a paid endorsement. I'm not getting paid to pay you guys about this. This is not an advertisement. I've not even had it. The watch might be terrible. But there's a couple of watches coming. And if I like them, I'll wear them. How cool is that? Not only that, but they'll do other things, like I'll honestly review them and we'll look at them and see what's going on. But I think they're going to give me a link to get you guys some discount on it. And no, I will not be getting money for them links. It'll just let them know that it's this channel that's been pushing them towards that, or my brand that's been pushing them towards that. And then there might be some benefits, probably more watches, which I can then give away for free in the freebie Fridays, or I can use them for our charity open days or something like that. So quite a cool relationship. Quite Weird, never had this happen before. It's quite cool how it happened. So I just thought I'd share it with you all and then you're gonna know in the next vlog, when they arrive, why I'm doing this crazy unboxing and I can tell you all the stories and then live we can go through it together on what we think of these watches. And I give you a little preview. I've got this Frankie coming. Looks like quite a dressy one, so it'll be quite good for when I'm doing my dinners or for when you know me and Sarah are doing something or whatever AMD slash personal life related pretty cool and I've got this one as well the Dover full-blown wooden one um, which if you're gonna have a company that say it makes wooden watches you might as well have one that actually looks like wood so this looks like it's gonna be quite cool casual and it's gonna be ideal for my up-and-coming road trip so hey if I end up getting something cool and I'm able to give you guys some kick-ass discount on it or some sort of link to it or it creates a conversation, creates a buzz and creates a bit more community about this channel, then I think that's a cool thing. So we're going to go for it and hopefully next week they'll arrive. Nearly finished the evoke, but someone's just come by or some things just come by and I want to show you it. And it is another Mustang. Look at this one. Grabber Blue they call it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Gr Grabber one Blue. The first in the country. One of the first ones. Look at this. It's a solid, almost baby blue, kind of like the ones that Audi and the Vag Group have been doing. Another GT. Lovely. We've got this one in a couple of weeks. Looking forward to that. How cool is that? I mean, a Mustang is cool in my eyes, but that color is phenomenal. Right, back to the Evoque. I've still got to picture it, wheelie it, and loads of other stuff, and we've got less than hour to go. Yeah, we ran out of time. Ha! <laughs> So I'm going to come in and finish this tomorrow nice and early. I'll get it wheelied, get it all put together, get it done. Customers picking up at nine. And then tomorrow we have another Range Rover in. A big Evoque. Evoque? Vogue? That's it. A big Vogue in for protection and all the good bits and pieces. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye. Morning. Half six on the button. Friday. The 2nd of September. Jeez, oh, where has this year gone? Anyway, let's shoot on in. It's going to be a busy little day today, and I'm hoping to go home early. So, what's to be done? Let's tidy up the front of the shop. Take that away. Quickly make a brew. Dive into here and start uploading all the content onto Dropbox and onto YouTube in these two hours. We have Peppy in. And the orders are done, so now it's time to get onto the car. When I say done, I mean I've done the paperwork for them and Scott will do them when he comes in. Look at that! It's gonna be a corker today. Isn't it, Pips? Right, time to get all this stuff outside. And then I can get one more coat on that, clean this stuff up, get that car done. One of the first of a couple of jobs on the Range Rover this morning is to just get some little bits done, so I'm just removing some wax. Excuse the shake from the grill. And then a couple of other little bits to do before I can picture and wheel it. And here it is. Using the mobile phone and looking around the car, this actually reminds me of doing the old style wheelie stool videos. Ah, the memories. One nice Range Rover Evoque done, pictured, wheelie stooled, and just waiting the customer to collect. We're also just waiting the next car to be dropped off, so it's time for a little bit of paperwork. Car number two is here. It's quarter past 12, we've done quite a bit of the wash process. There it is, Range Rover in for a G-Technic yearly. Gonna get the interior sorted out on that one as well. 
I believe that's the final rinse there. And then we can pull it in and get it dry. He's back. He's back. He's Hoover Cam. Hoover Cam. Hoover in the dust out of those areas. So, apart from the leather and the scrub, seats look quite clean, right? Like I told you guys last week, part your leather, look what's in there. It's every car. Just go part the leather, see what's down the gap. And it's done. We're just gonna give it a final wipe over and then I'm gonna go and drop this one off. That's right. Customers taking advantage of the free pick up and drop off that we do in Elgin. Ding. And that's another week. Done. And I'm really not sure how this one turned out with everything that's been going on, Jamie being away, hospitals, etc. And I've been saying that a couple of times. And I'm gonna try and not apologize because it's what I've been doing and this is the content that's been generated. But I'm gonna disappear. I'm actually still got something to do, which is to draw the winner of the freebie Friday. But it is currently Friday. So tonight, last week's vlog will drop and then I will film on Monday and attach it to this, who the winner of last week's freebie Friday was. Really excited to do that. So for now, I will see you later. And at the end of this, you will see that uh, winner being drawn. See you later, guys. See you next week. Hello. Okay, so I know this is vlog 19, but it's actually uh, September the 6th. We would have dropped the freebie Friday last week, and this is me only just getting around to by the time we go drop on Friday. Today is Tuesday, picking the winner. So we've gone through all the comments, and I have personally gone through and answered every single one, but let me show you the winner. The winner is... Aiden. Well done Aiden, we're gonna contact you. Um, we really liked your comment, so we're gonna give you a shout and then we'll get all the goodies to you. Thank you. That's it guys, thank you very much for watching this week. Please do share this video, just hit it, smash it to any social media that you use, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram if you can, I'm not even sure if that's a possible thing. Get it up there on your LinkedIn for all the business people. This is a business. Fire us your comments below on what you thought of the vlog and give it a little like. Let's see if we can get that thumb up like to over 100. I managed to get 100 likes on vlog 18. Let's see if we can get over 100 on vlog 19. Thank you very much guys. See you next week. Bye.